Hi guys, good morning. It is I don't know what time it is. Actually, we were supposed to leave like a lot earlier, but I think it's 7:38 and I'm leaving for Jaipur for two days. I'm going with my sister. You may not see her on the vlog, but yes, she's with me. And yeah, and I'm going to be taking you through everything that we do in Jaipur. We're going to be taking the new highway and we're going to be driving. I'm going to Jaipur after really long. You know, it's not even been five minutes since we've driven and my sister needs to go to the washroom. So we've stopped at Hyatt. Can you believe it? So this is the new highway that we took. It's called NE4. Super smooth drive. It just showed like four hours and few minutes to reach Jaipur. And there were barely any cars on it. Hi guys, so we are on the new Jaipur highway which is NE4 and there were so many signs for restrooms but none of them are operational, everything is under construction and I think before opening the highway they should have kept in mind that women would have to use the washroom and they just can't pee anywhere. Anyways, now the one that we've stopped at is just 2 kilometers before Albar and uh, there's only like a washroom here which is not super clean but all right and like one place to eat and that's about it so if you need to go then just keep all this in mind see like this also shows that it's coming soon just carried some puri halwa chana since yesterday was ashtmi just carried like the leftover chana puri guys <laughs> Guys, we've arrived at Jaipur. We're just gonna check into the hotel, though the check in time is like 3 pm. But we're gonna see if they can give us an early check in. I did place a request specifically, so yeah, let's see. Guys, that's my room. guys this is like my full look and if you want to see details you can go on instagram and check out the look so it's like really cloudy outside and i just hope it doesn't rain because we plan to go to rambak palace and the restaurant over there and that's like all outdoor so yeah so just crossing my fingers so we came to Rambak Palace for lunch and luckily they also had indoor seating and it's so beautiful. We ordered the drinks from the menu which were mentioned city-wise. So we have Udaipur, Jodhpur and mine is from Jaipur. Here we ordered the lal mas and a dish called paneer mangori and by the way I'm not a vegetarian but this dish was out of the world. For a super royal experience you can even try their restaurant called Suvarna Mahal and this opens only for dinner and they serve everything in 24 karat gold cutlery and crockery. This palace is so beautiful. You have to, have to come here. Guys, can you see the peacock? There's a lot of peacock spotting in this hotel. Guys, we are now at City Palace Jaipur and this is open till 6.30 p.m. Everyone told us that it's open till 5 p.m. because that was the earlier time, especially all the guides. I think they were just trying to misguide us, but whatever, like I called and found out the timing and they said it's open till 6.30, like the entry is till 6.30 and open till 7. It's really beautiful. We've taken a guide. And within two minutes, I feel that it's absolutely worth it to take a guide to do this palace because 
he explains all the details what the palace is all about and everything in it and we are paying him 400 rupees and there is rupees 300 per person charge for the entry of just the palace and that's what we've taken अगर वो होते हैं किंग के नाम पे सिटी का नाम जयपुर रखा गया सवाई टाइटल मिला था आपको पता ही है इसके बारे में वो ये भी है कि इवन इंदिरा गांधी को एक्चुअली आप एक बार दिस इज द इवनिंग व्यू ऑफ द पैलेस व्हेन ऑल द लाइट्स कम अप इजंट इट सो ब्यूटीफुल गाइस दिस इज द व्यू एट नाइट फ्रॉम माय होटल रूम स्टेपिंग अप फॉर डिनर एंड दिस इज माय नाइट लुक we went to tapri cafe for dinner and honestly we were so full from lunch that we didn't want to have anything heavy now tapri serves food which is more like snacks and they almost have like 20 to 30 varieties of tea <laughs> We ordered cheese vada pav which was all right. They also serve pale ghee biscuits with their tea and we had ordered some masala chai for ourselves and also some bhaji or pakora or whatever you call this and some tarka maggi which was yum. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Today is day two of the Jaipur trip, and we have come to Nahargarh Fort. Um, it's an uphill drive, and uh, we took our own car. Convenient parking, and the entry is rupees fifty per person, and you get a beautiful view of the city, the entire Jaipur city. <laughs> From there we drove to Amer Fort. On our way to Amer Fort, we stopped at this point where you could get a beautiful view of the Jal Mahal. So we have come to Amer Fort, Amer Palace and we've come to the restaurant 1135 AD which is a traditional Rajasthani experience and the drive to Amer Fort was pretty steep we got our own car 50 rupees parking to be very honest initially I was slightly nervous about driving to Amer Fort ourselves but it was absolutely fine they do offer like there are a lot of guys and they'll tell you that you can take a jeep for like 500 bucks but we did not want to do that and you know people have this tendency of crowding you over here so don't get overwhelmed just say no and just say that you want to go to the restaurant and they let you be so you can easily do Amer Fort, Jaigarh Fort, Nahargarh Palace and Jal Mahal like on the same day because they're all in the same area and the same route so it's very easily doable in just like one outing this is the restaurant and honestly it was almost empty we were the only ones just one or two families joined in later um, I believe it's more crowded during dinner time. We ordered the Rajasthani Thali over here and Lal Maas and Jungli Morg with Mirchi Parantha and Garlic Naan. Oh my god, I'm drooling while talking about it. And everything was just amazing. We were then taken upstairs as part of a surprise visit. And this is exactly where all the royalty and all the celebrities dine in at. Because it had rained a lot during our stay in Jaipur, the weather gods blessed us with some amazing, pleasant weather and the clouds also looked really nice. This was the view from the other side of the fort. So the roads were this narrow to and from Amer Fort. Hi guys, I am actually wearing my night suit top. We were so tired and exhausted after the entire day that we came back and slept a bit. And yeah, just headed to the markets really quickly and super lazy. So just turned my night suit top into something that I could just wear outside. I obviously didn't carry my camera to the bazaar. 
uh but and we shopped really less because we were very very short on time we just literally had like 45 minutes so i'll just quickly show you my shopping so these are the jutis and kolapuris that i bought i know all of them are of the similar color but they were all different styles and honestly they weren't uh too many color options or actually no color options available in these styles and i loved them all so i just got them this is the store where i got two of them from and the other one was just across like opposite to this store across the road so you can check them out i also got these from the same lane in jaipur guys now heading to a bar called bar palladio it's really popular and the interiors are supposed to be really nice this is my look the stop is like super old like when i was a kid guys i do not plan to carry the camera to the bar so i'm just going to leave the dslr here and if i make stories or like take any pictures then i will show them to you the interiors the deco the food and the drinks everything was amazing at bar palladio So we left early morning for Delhi what we did not expect is so much fog on the way back Shoes for us to reach And that's it from the Jaipur vlog guys I really hope you enjoyed watching lots of love